Hello, I am Saurish from 7th Dalagri from Silver Oaks International School and welcome to my learning journey where I explain what I learned this year at my school. Let's start with my favorite subject, social science. In social science, I learned about the Big History Project, Geography, Economics and Political Science. Let's take a deeper dive in all of them, starting with the Big History Project. Unlike conventional history, big, his big History Project deals with what happened from the Big Bang to what happens in the future through a scientific approach. Here are the thresholds we learned. Thresholds are major turning points in history. And in Threshold 4, it deals about the Earth and the formation of the solar system. This is a snap card activity we did on the formation of the solar system. Now as the planets are done, are formed, how was young earth like? Young earth was covered with molten rocks and magma and was constantly bombarded by asteroids and also had no oxygen. Therefore, it was not that good of a place to live. 4.2 deals with one of the most famous theories of all time, plate tectonics. And how are they important? 4.3, meanwhile, deals with uh, two scientists who helped this plate tectonic theory, Alfred Wegener and Harry Hess. Their biographies are given here. This below is my reflection on big history. This is an image I created where the timeline is shaped like a telescope, which is a tool which helps us see things which are far away, in this case, time. The human looking into it is humanity gazing into history and the ever decreasing size represents the lesser knowledge we have of the past. This is my journal work on big history. So now let's get into geography. In geography, we learnt about the different rivers in India and I learnt that there are many different rivers and they are really helpful for our human civilization. We also learnt about the in Indus, Ganga, Godavari and Krishna and their many major tributaries. We also learned about the dam which helps conserve the river and not help waste it, which also leads to a human migration crisis, which is our next topic. And before that, I would like to show you the work I did on tracing the Indus, Ganga and Godavari and Krishna rivers. Human migration is Human migration is when a whole group of people move from one place to another due to many reasons such as wars, refugees, dam, surge of food or better lifestyle. We learned about specific migration crises like the Rohingyas, the Syrian civil war and the Afghan Soviet war. And this is my journal work on the, analyzing the human migration using the cost and effect relationship. Now let's dive into political science. In this political in this we political science chapter we learned about the role of media one of the best democracy one of the best forms of government the democracy universal adult franchise and the election commission we also learned about the different types of government such as a theocracy autocracy plutocracy technocracy and communism we all, this is a mind map showing what I have learned and how democracy is one of the best forms of government. This is where I understand like the important functions of the government and the different the standing of the de democracy, the election commission. We also learned the history of democracy to the form of the universal adult franchise. And the other, the greatest thing which influences a government, which is a democracy, media. This is my journal work on political science. Now let's dive into economics. This was my first encounter with e economics. Even though it was notorious for repelling students, I found it quite interesting. This, this year I learned about economics introduction, the economics and non-economic activities and economic agents and also the sectors of economy. The, the above are my reflections on them and these two are important things which I found really in interesting and I wanted to include this aside. If the entire Indian treasury was one rupee, how, 
uh, what and where it goes through is the first stage while the second one is the same thing just in a different version and this right now is my journal work on economic and non economic activities and economic agents okay now let's stop with social science and get started with science Science is one of my favorite subjects and we learned it through dividing through biology, chemistry and physics. Let's start with biology. Biology is one of the most important sciences as it deals with the biggest mystery on earth, life. This got me really interested in biology. This image shows Jemima ma'am explaining about biology. The first chapter was adapting to life on land, which was divided into three main parts. plants animals and conservation of species in plants we learned about the survey of the plant kingdom which which includes the vascular plants non vascular plants we also learned about basic adaptation in plants and fertilization we also learned about the plant tissues such as ground tissues vascular tissues and dermal tissues who make up plant organs such as roots stems and leaves and also flowers let's go to the other side animal We learned about the characteristic of animals such as nutrition and reproduction. We also learned about many many other phylum such as the amphibia, reptile, ape, fishes and mammalia. Let's this is my work on plants which includes the origin of plants, the different types of organelles in plants and the different adaptations. In survey of plant kingdom we learned the distribution in a, a flow chart we learned it through a flow chart where how plants were divided as shown in the picture given In plant tissues we learned about how roots stems and leaves are divided into tissues who are divided into cells such as you can see in this picture given here the most the more important cells include the parenchyma the collenchyma the sclerenchyma cells and the stomata here is my journal work on the different types of tissues and cells this is a tea chart dividing roots stems and leaves of a plant and the root the root are divided into two parts the tap root and the fibrous root and the stems are usually made up of vascular tissues which includes xylem sends minerals and water throughout the plant and phloem who gives translocation In leaves, we learned about photosynthesis through chlorophyll, and also the base, the base on the shape of leaves, how it's divided, like the simple leaf, the compound leaf. And here is my journal work, and we included modification of roots, modification of stems, and a drawing of the cellular structures in stomata, stomata of a leaf, which I'm really proud of. This is another drawing in my journal work on flowers. We also learned about the very important. concept of fertilization where we learned about how an endosperm enters an ovary and fertilizes fertilizes the cell forming the new seed which is really important for plant reproduction enough with the green stuff let's enter the animals we learned about different types of phylum such as mammalia who who are who reproduce to their mother's womb and amphibia who are, who lay eggs and reptilia who were one of the first phylum to enter enter the land and lay eggs and birds who also enter the lay eggs now a lot of information isn't it so let's get into a story and there is this a human working for a factory releasing a lot of pollution this is one of the main causes for habitat degradation and causing the endangerment of species this can lead to extinction of many species Understanding these, two young women have taken the initiative to help these two and not make their species wiped out from the face of the earth. Now, let's get into Unit Three: Nutrition and Energy Flow. We learned about the types of nutrition such as autotrophs, heterotrophs, and decomposers, food chains, and food webs, pyramids such as energy flow and biomass, and cycles such as water, carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Many organs. Many organisms that tend in energy to many things. The autotrophs or producers make their food by the process of photosynthesis, while heterotrophs and consumers consumers cannot make their own food, hence obtain food by consuming autotrophs or other heterotrophs. 
decomposers break down complex compounds of the dead and decaying plants and animals, who which clean up the environment. We also learned about food chain and food webs. Food chain is a direct, direct showcase of where the nutrition and energy goes through. For example, plants who produce all the food due to sunlight are eaten by a deer, who are eaten by a lion, and the dung beetle who gets the lion's remains. A food web is just a bunch of food chains combined together. For example, a single fox can eat both a chicken and a peacock. Now. Let's get let's over with the chains and webs. Let's get with some pyramids. There are different types of pyramids, such as the energy pyramids, where the 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 higher you are on a food chain, the lower of the energy you get. And the apex predators usually get the lowest amount of food, while the primary producer who gets the most amount of food. There are also like biomass pyramids who in which the aquatic ecosystem have left an inverted one and an upright up pyramid in a terrestrial one. These are my drawings on, the, on different cycles such as the water cycle, the carbon cycle, the phosphorus cycle and the nitrogen cycle. So now, let's get into the things which we can see. Chemistry. Chemistry, chemistry is a study of more, what things made of for, which made me more interested in it. This this for this project graduation i selected the states of matter which matter what is it matter is something which has mass and occupies states matter is categorized into five five states solid liquid gas plasma and bose einstein constant which definition are shown here we also learned on types of matter such as pure substances and mixtures. And mixtures are also divided into homogeneous mixtures, heterogeneous mixtures, whose journal works are shown here. Separation is actually a really important part in everyday life. There are different types of separation such as paper separation, paper chromatography, filtration, separating funnel, simple distillation, evaporation, fractional distillation and magnetism. All of these images and the how you use it and the main principle behind them are given in this mind map. Acids and bases. Every single every single substance in this universe can be classified into either an acid or a base. An acid is usually defined as a as an object with or a substance with more H plus ions, while a base is defined as a substance with more OH minus ions. We use many acids and bases in our everyday lives. Some of them are given below in this journal work. This is a pH scale. This is one of the most important places where we use acids and bases. pH scale used to signify whether an object is an, is an acid or a base using a pH paper. We, all, we also learn about indicators. Before, acids were treated as something which is sour and bases for something which is bitter. But then, we can't go around tasting everything we can't in class better. So there are sour, natural occurring indicators which help us differentiate between them. For example, these are in, this was our in the explanation of indicator by Jamai Mamam at school. This was a video we helped to learn from. Here is an experiment on the nature of lemon juice and detergent using a natural indicator, turmeric. After I in this I observed in this experiment that dissolved detergent turns red, while diluted lemon juice turns light yellow when turmeric is added. Conclusion: Detergent is basic, while lemon juice is acidic. Is acidic. Okay, so let's get into physics. Physics in my opinion, is one of the most relatable and best branch of science, as it studies around natural phenomena and how things work, which means it can be used in our everyday life. At first, we learned about light. So here is a mind map saying, basically, summarizing what is light, interaction of light with matter, mirrors, lenses, and prism, and how do we see light. So, let's get into the questions. What is light? What, light, as a special property, is it has a property of both a base and a particle which is really unique only to light which causes weird phenomena 
this is my journal work on how objects let light pass through like transparent translucent and opaque object this is a my journal work again on the interaction of light with matter such as refraction absorption scattering transmission and reflection this is another t chart about differentiate between reflection and refraction reflection is the bouncing back of light when it falls onto a reflective surface such as a river while reflection is the bending of a light wave due to the change in speed as it passes through one medium to another Reflection follows certain rules such as when a light ray reflects off a surface the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction while the incident ray normal and refracted light ray lie on the same plane refraction also follows certain rules such as the fsa rules when a light wave moves from a medium which travels relatively slow to which it moves faster the the reflected ray refracted ray moves away from the normal so, fsa rule when a light wave moves from a medium which travels relatively faster to that in which it travels relatively slower the reflected ray moves towards the normal these are my drawings on the sfa rule and the fst rule convex mirror and concave mirror and the reflection this is a venn diagram explaining and differentiating and summarizing the real image and the virtual image this is a mind map about the real life applications of concave mirrors concave lenses convex mirrors and concave lenses some frequency amplitude wave time period pitch echo ultrasound infrasound these words are sound are, are classified as sounds of sound the, the definitions of these important terms are given below this is a journal work and my brief diagram about all of them this is the behavior of sound wave which includes the doppler effect echo and resonance while acoustics is a study of what is sound and this is different types of acoustics so now let's do i think it's time we are done with science let's enter some second line నమస్కారం ఇది నా తెలుగులో ప్రయాణం నేను నా తెలుగులో చాలా నేర్చుకున్నాను ఇప్పుడు నేను చిత్రవర్ణన గురించి చెప్పబోతున్నాను మన నామావాచకం క్రియ ఇన్ను విశేషణంలో విశేషణాలు ఉన్నాయి ఇది నా జర్నల్ వర్క్ రెసిపీ రైటింగ్ రెసిపీ రైటింగ్ ద్వారా వంటగదిలోని కొన్ని పదార్థాలు పేర్లు తెలుసుకున్నాను వాటిలో ముఖ్యమైన జీరకర్రమి మరియు వా వాముఖి తేడా తెలుసుకున్నాను రెసిపీ రైటింగ్ ద్వారా నాలో వంట చేయటం వల్ల ఆసక్తి పెరిగింది చిన్న చిన్న వంటకాలు చేయడం కూడా నేర్చుకున్నాను కింద నా జర్నల్ వర్క్ ఆన్ రెసిపీ రైటింగ్ ఇప్పుడు మనం పద్యాలకు వెళ్దాం పద్యాలు అనేవి చాలా ఉపయో ఒక మనిషికి చాలా ఉపయోగపడతాయి నాకు నేను ఈ సంవత్సరం మూడు పద్యాలు నేర్చుకున్నాను మూడు పద్ ఆ మూడు మూడు పద్యాల్లో నాకు చాలా ఇష్టం ఉంది అనగన అనగనగ రామ మతి సెవిచ్చు ముందు తినగ తినగ వేము తీయ నుండు సాధనము పనులు సమకూర్తు ధరలోన విశ్వదాభి రామ వినుడు వర్మ దీని భావం ఏంటంటే ఏదైనా పనిని చేస్తూ ఉంటే ఆ పని తేలిగ్గా సులభంగా అయిపోతుంది వేము ఆకు చేదు ఉన్నా తిని తిని తీయగైపోయినట్లు ఇప్పుడు మనం మ్యాథమెటిక్స్కి వెళ్దాం మ్యాథ్ ఇట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఫేవరెట్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ దిస్ ఇయర్ ఐ లర్న్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ డిఫరెంట్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్జెబ్రా టు పర్సెంటేజెస్ టు రీషనల్ నంబర్స్ లెస్ ఎక్స్ప్లోర్ వాట్ ఐ లర్న్ this year come in commercial mathematics we learned about percentages ratio proportion and profit and loss and simple interest this is my reflection on percentages on ratio and proportion and on profit and loss and simple interest
This is my journal work on commercial mathematics. Now let's get into linear equations. Linear equations was a topic I learned from three years ago, so I was quite quant confident in it. This year I solved linear equations through two methods. Method one, where we add where we perform any operations on both the LHS and the RHS of the equation and a method 2 of transposition. This year I learned a lot of people condemning algebra so I've decided I should include this. Seden said let there be letters in math. These are like a few memes describing people's childhood horror algebra but it's okay. I've heard people ask after all, who needs to figure out what number when multiplied by 15 gives rise to 1655? But algebra is really useful in everyday life. Every single word problem is about a real life situation might, which might have occurred. This dawned upon me while I was going to a supermarket when my mom said me. I had a budget of 300 and the apple cost 25 each. How many apples could I buy? How much money would be left? How many apples did my mom want in the first place? All of these are solved by algebra. This is my journal work on simple equations, linear equations. Let's get into numerical operations. At first, when I heard of numerical equations, I was not even interested to learn it. And my first thoughts were, great, need to learn addition all over again. But turns out numerical equations consist of rational numbers and powers and exponents. This is my description on rational, rational numbers and powers and exponents. This is my journal work on both of them. This year in math, I learned a lot of thinking skills and a lot of speaking skills and, uh, and I enjoyed it really a lot. Okay, now let's get with English. When I came back to Silver Oaks, I had a I had a, mm, different memories flooding back with me. A few important things include when I saw her new ma'am, I thought she was a sports teacher, but turns out she was the sport of teacher. I enjoyed science classes and got much more interesting as chemistry started and more and more as physics started in. We were taken into labs and Telugu classes were fun with a lot of discussion to improve communication skills. Also, Ananta Lakshmi's ma'am's unique way of teaching helped me catch up. English was fairly good and I improved and learned a lot about many new concepts this year and, and developed my writing skills by taking Chitra Ma'am's solid inputs. However, I am working towards becoming a better at it. Hindi was fairly easy for me as it was my second language for most of my schooling years. Math was interesting and very easy. It also gave me an insight into high grades and I was never bored in maths class. And I'm also proud of maintaining a completely up-to-date math journal all along. My constant move throughout the year was supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, except for a few lows along the way. According to me, the best part was offline school. After all, it was like sunshine and fresh air to the prisoner of Azkaban. It also reintroduced me to ideas like the 12 cultures and mantras of Mahatma and me and my country we grow together. And, and the learning of reflective learning in the writing of my learning journey was not that easy as at first I was excited for it and I wrote about it but then after a few days I was bored about it and I left it there until a few 15 days ago where I started doing it back again while I completed it. The, in this reflective writing I also used what we learned in English. For example, I used a lot of similes such as like the sunshine and fresh air to a prisoner of Azkaban and jumping around my seat burning the midnight oil as idioms, meanwhile subsequently parallelly as commutative and thunderclap to me as a metaphor. To put it greatly, I actually loved this year at 7th year and I hope to see it again in 8th year. Thank you.